Gospel goodies. Gospel goodies. This is Gospel goodies. This is Gospel Goodies Radio on Philly's Favor 100.7 FM and 99.5 HD3. I'm Aaliyah Faust, and I am super excited to be joined by the lovely, lovely Latisse Crawford. How are you, lady? Hey, girl. I am good. How you doing? I'm really good. Um, when this came across my emails, I was like, yes, I want to talk to Latisse. Yes, you know you always <laughs> one of my favorites, so. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's definitely always a pleasure. Um, but first, congrats on the new EP, The Cure. Out on all digital outlets now. So let's talk about the name because I have my own thoughts on what that might be about, but I want to know like where the name came from, why the cure? Um, you know, it's so many different things, you know, um, I think it may have started out with me maybe seeking love and then it went to, um, hope and then, you know, peace and then healing, you know, it was so many different things that I was searching for, but I remember asking the the questions, what is the cure? Who is the cure? Where is the cure? And then I had to go on this journey to figure out what that was. And ultimately, you know, it was God. So yeah, the, the title, you know, came because I wanted for people, you know, I wanted this, this project to be almost like a Google search when you're, you know, thinking you have something. So, you know, you start coughing, you're like, oh Lord, do I have Corona? And you go on, you know, and you start searching for that and you find so many other people with the same symptoms. You figure out what's wrong with them. You figure out what they need, what they've used, but ultimately you find their solution. And so I want the music to be that identify with my symptoms, relate to my pills, but ultimately look for my cure. And that's God. Awesome. I love that. Um, And the songs that guys, if you haven't heard it already, you got to go listen to it now. The songs on it are really amazing. Um, One of the songs actually on there is called Amazing. Um, (laughs) And like I said earlier, but while we were off not recording, you already know how I feel about that song. Um, It literally gives me chills, like even now um after all this time but something something is also a familiar song um or a a song we're familiar with on the on the ep um but on a first glance even though i saw those two songs um i saw that they were familiar on the first glance at the track list i saw one that said let me see that said your fault and i was like oh i have to listen to that see (laughs) whose fault is it what happened so can you talk a little bit about um that what might have been the experience that inspired that song um, you know, we, I think we, as believers, we always give the enemy, uh, you know, so much credit. We give him so much power, you know, to kind of continue to be in our lives, keep giving him this invitation to mess things up. And so I just wanted to write the song from a different perspective instead of, you know, saying like, oh, you got me here. Or, oh, I keep tripping over this little oh, devil. Blah, blah, blah. I wanted to say, actually, no, it is your fault, but it's your fault that I'm doing so well. It's your fault that I'm back with God. It's your fault that I'm over here and that I'm prospering. Everything that you've done, everything you meant for my bad, it turned out for my good because it led me to the one that I should be with anyway. So sit over there. It's your fault. Thank you. Thank you for messing everything up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And um, this is your first EP since 2016, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. And I know a lot's been happening in between that time. Um, mm-hmm. Two of the major things being signing or uh, the partnership with E1 and yeah. then um, the whole pandemic. So what's been uh, going on in between time for you? Um, you know, besides the pandemic, you know, my, my dad passed away in 2017. My mom passed away right maybe a few days before the pandemic hit. So it has been a year of constant loss. In between both of their deaths, I lost probably about 10 uh, aunts, uncles, cousins. You know, these were like my mother, father, sisters and brothers, you know, so it wasn't just like distant, you know, it, was, it hit home. And I'm going through that, you know, and then having to immediately shift a few days later into being a homeschool parent, um, you know, helping my son get through, you know, this process, trying to grieve, but being away from family. There was so much happening in all of these songs that I have written long time ago, you know, and throughout the process of my parents being sick suddenly meant something completely different for me, which started out, you know, as meaning one thing. They meant something different. So this this project definitely is uh, forever evolving, you know, and growing and changing and metamorphosing into, you know, whatever it is that I need in the moment, whatever it is that ails me, there is something on the cure that speaks to it. Right. And I always wonder, um, as an artist, well, as a Christian artist, rather, um, do you ever feel pressure to, like, release music because... Um, I think what makes me 
just ask the question is because of the source of the music and the passion behind it is different for this genre, of course, um, and obviously more spirit led. Uh, so what's that process like for you? Um, I never really feel pressured, you know, on these music because everything that I that I write and, and put out, you know, it's it's always very current to what I'm going through and I guess what I, you know, will continue to have to battle with and fight. So I never really feel pressured to put out the music. The the one thing I will say, uh, that that we do benefit from, you know, being believers and being gospel artists is that I think it's somewhat understood um that while we are conducting business, you know, that this is a little bit different and that this has to uniquely, you know, fit within the message that needs to, you know, kind of come across, you know what I mean? So I think, I think it is different in that way where it may be in the secular side, it's just like, look, we need new music now, the demand is different. But on the gospel side, um, I think some of our songs last a little longer too, because they don't just talk about the right now, but they talk about, you know, like I said, problems that people continuously go through. So um, no, I never really feel um, pressure to put out music. Um, I think we feel more pressure to, um, keep the music we have alive <laughs> if that makes sense so in the beginning of that song how uh it was like where's latisse been um i think that's really important uh and i really commend you for addressing it um because not even just in the pandemic but in general um a lot of times we don't take that time for ourselves uh but it is really important to do so um i kind of wanted to talk about your whole life uh company and how you're doing that and helping people actually find the courage to do that and be that um, kind of, you know, guide for themselves and to stand up for themselves and their boundaries and um, just well-being. During the pandemic, you know, I had gotten the certifications uh, a little while back, but during the pandemic, I really did see more of a need, you know, for mental health, you know, and, and paying attention to that, you know, because I needed it at that time. I needed to just sit down, sit still and heal, you know what I mean? So I think because I realized I needed it, it made me wonder, you know, how many more artists, how many more women, you know, need that outlet as well, need a safe place they can come to, um, to be okay, you know, in ministry, in mommying, in wifing, and, you know, whatever it is, you know, that we're going through, how, how do we be okay, you know, when it's not really, you know, cool to go and get help or to just stop or to take a nap or to just breathe, or to need some tissue. You know, it's so many things that we're, we're not allowed to do, you know, um, as humans, as women, as being black, as, you know, being artists. Um, and so, you know, I wanted to create that safe space for us to be able to do that and to say the things that we're not often allowed to say and to feel the things that um, we're not often allowed to feel. Well, I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm excited for people to get to know that more. Um, I actually experienced that awesomeness from you firsthand back in January. Uh, thank you again for that. We'll talk more about that on the next break. <laughs> um, but The Cure EP by Latisse Crawford out now, available wherever you get your music digitally. Thank you so much, Latisse, for this conversation. Um, can you let people know how to follow you and keep up with everything you have going on? Sure, you guys can follow me by following Latisse Crawford. Y'all yeah, been looking for Latrice, but she ain't here because she ain't me. I'm Latisse, L-A-T-I-C-E Crawford. <laughs>